Good morning. It is the Mountain Report, and we are proud to show that as the storm begins, the super storm begins. 17 degrees as we start the day off. Mountainside Real Estate is proudly bringing in this quad cam shot as they get ready to start the day off today. A great day. Good morning. My name's Greg Powers, living the dream here, and always happy to be here in the seat when we have snow like this, uh, Captain Kip joins us. He's going to give us our first tracks report. And what will he be skiing on? Well, you'll just have to stay tuned because we'll give you more information about that. And we've got some great guests. Pete Howard's going to come on. We're going to talk about skiing in these kind of conditions a little bit, maybe give you some tips. And uh, Sarah will join us uh, from the wedding uh, department sales here at Sugar. We'll talk about some different options and different ways to come here and get married in the special place that it is. Hey, speaking of special places, the weather desk is a special place here this morning with Outside Andy, because he's gonna bring you the weather and trail conditions. Good morning, Outside Andy. The WSKI TV 17 weather report is brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. Visit them in the village or online at sugarloafmountainside.com. Good morning, skiers and riders, Sugarloaf and Carabasset Valley. Hope you're ready for a nice snow day here at the mountain. Time for your latest local forecast, which you can find, including much more, on our website, wskitv.com. This weather brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. We'll see snow throughout the day today, heavy at times. Over a foot of snow is forecasted, so that is some great news. We'll see summit temperatures in the uh, upper teens, base temperatures in the mid-20s with a light uh, east-southeast breeze across the hill. Shouldn't cause any issues. We're looking at partly, partly to mostly sunny skies for the day on Sunday. Uh, we'll see elevated winds, especially up towards the top of the mountain. Low 20s at the summit for your temperatures and high 20s right around 30 degrees down here at the base for your temperatures. Monday, we're looking at sunny skies, a high of 35 degrees, moderating temperatures up into the 40s for partly sunny skies for Tuesday, and some clouds roll in for the day on Wednesday with a high of 45 degrees. So we may be back to some spring skiing conditions later in the week after all this fresh snow. Birchwood Interiors, check them out in Village West. They're bringing you your trail report, 159 trails, serviced by 10 lifts, 60 of those trails groomed out, and we're looking at some nice powder and packed powder conditions we'll see free refills all throughout the day today so get out there and enjoy it eight o'clock snubber will get you up to the base lodge skidway and sawdust remove you around the base area at 8 30 and nine o'clock the muscalator gets going skyline gets going at 8 30 the super quad is open at 8 30 as well and runs till 4 20 today and we're going to see uh the east side lifts all good to go as well as bucksaw express and timberline Good to go at 9 a.m. Winds, weather, and conditions permitting. As far as our schedule grooming last night, they hope to get out to Timberline as well as Bridal Chain and Tote Road, all the regulars, and Hallback, Choker, Widowmaker, Flume, Misery Whip, and Wham Ram Down down on the east side. Jill and Jack Poke on Springboard and Pole Line over on the lower east side or off of Whiffle Tree. Also on the west side, Scoot, Windrow, Horseshoe, West Mountain, a good chance. Chipper, Lower Hatchet, Lower Bucksaw, Lower Feller Buncher, and Whistle Punk as well as lower beaver tail and lower knot bumper, all groomed out. And we will see that snow adding up throughout the day. So be prepared for some fresh snow skiing out there. Lower Witcher's Way, Candyside Boardwalk, the Landing, Birches, and Snowbrook, always all groomed out around the base area. The uphill route is open, as well as touring over in Bracket Basin. And the Lodge and Nordics shop are open 9 to 5 down the Sugarloaf Outdoor Center. Winter's back. They're going to be grooming throughout the day today. There's some snowshoe trails open as well. So get down there and take advantage of some great spring conditions. Anti-gravity complex, great spot for some indoor activity as well as the Sugarloaf Sports and Fitness Center. A great cafe as well. Nice ski in, ski out for a quick meal. And the main ski and snowboard museum is open today as well. Uh, 10.30 to 3.30. So if you've Burned your legs out skiing, need something to do, go check out the Ski Museum of Maine uh, quad cam. That's so you can see exactly what's happening at the base of the mountain in real time to know before you go. Be sure to check that out throughout the day for the 
falling snow and we've got our live mountain report we've got live reports out on the hill all the info to know before you go so be sure to tune in 7 30 to 9 a.m today and tomorrow morning we're also streaming lots of ways to watch us channel 17 at the hotel or on spectrum cable we're on the spectrum app wskitv.com has the streaming as well as a roku channel get out there and enjoy it folks hi i'm deb pierce i've been a sugar loafer since 1975 my style is really low pressure um, and nurturing. I like helping people through the whole process, make them feel comfortable. Um, I'm a good listener. This market is crazier than I've ever seen. So if you're looking to buy or sell, please come see me here right in the village. Um, we're here every day, nine to five. Good morning, and thanks for tuning in to WSKI TV uh, 17 if you are watching here locally on cable. And uh, 17 is the degrees as well this morning. And Mountainside Real Estate is bringing this live quad cam, quad cam shot. I know you're watching, however, you're watching here, but uh, spread the news because we are also streaming on our website, WSKITV.com, and we are also streaming on. Roku now, and you can check us out on YouTube as well. We have a YouTube station, and all our other uh, programs are actually archived there too. So if you maybe had a friend or something and uh, you wanted to watch that, you can go back there and check it out. Hey, it's free. Why not? Uh, also, our quad cam, you know, we've got an eclipse coming, and there could be potentially thousands of people here. We don't know, but uh, we're looking forward to that. And if you want uh, more information, you want to be a sponsor for our quad cam, hey, Shoot us an email, WSKITV at WSKITV.com. We are awaiting the powder poacher himself, Captain Kip, brought to you by Downhill Supply Company. Remember, if you want to try out some wide skis today, you better get there early <laughs> and uh, see if you want to try out some of those new skis, some of the wider ones. We'll see what Kip's skiing on today. But whatever you're skiing on or riding, it's going to be a great day. Also, demos available at the boardroom. And uh, Kip is going to come and join us. But right now, let's talk about some things happening around and about. Of course, the indoor activities galore at the anti-gravity complex. Right there, bottom of the access road. Take a right and another right. It's big. We're looking for summer help, too. And at the Carabasset Valley Public Library, what can I tell you? You want to take the kids someplace or you want to get some resources, that's the place to go. A lot of resources to offer. And a lot to offer at the Main Ski and Snowboard Museum. Uh, check out this heritage of this great sport and Sugarloaf Sport and Fitness Center. Come on in. The water's fine. And they have a cafe. opens at 7 o'clock. And you have got happy tunes. Uh, they're going to join us tomorrow. We're going to talk uh, with Lionel. He's going to join us in person on set. The Maiden Main shop is open for biz with 30% off still on those T-shirts. Check them out. Carabasic Coffee, check out your flavor. You can order it direct right there, Carabasic Coffee on 27. And Open House is uh, happening today, uh, the 23rd, 3 to 5. Check it out. And uh, Open House, 2.30 till 4 at Elderberry Way. And that is uh, another open house that you can check out. Now, you want to support Spruce Mountain? Well, you can buy raffle tickets at the Ski Depot. Check it out. Uh, helping to support, and you can win those uh, Pink Floyd Dark Side of the Moon skis. Island Time e-bike rentals. They do tours, and they're looking for, uh, you know, a part-time peddler there for the summer, or full-time, rather. And we're going to talk more about weddings here. As I mentioned, when we open up the show, Clem and Roland Began are just some great people that have been here and done so much for the town. And they are celebrated and uh, just people we should know. Carabasset Valley town manager position opening up. I wonder if they'll, Andy, let us interview uh, potential um, town managers here on the show. Wouldn't that be fun? Oh, really? <laughs> We could do some interviews. That would be fun. Uh, we got a lot to talk about here this morning because uh, here's the thing. 10 to 18, that's quite a span, don't you think? It could even be more than that. How much snow are we going to get? Uh, we'll find out with Captain Kip because he's poached some powder on the way down. He's getting ready to uh, uh, spark up that microphone for us, and we're going to find out more and see how excited he is here today. And we are looking uh, tomorrow with some partly sunny skies. Boy, uh, what a great weekend to be here at Sugarloaf. 
and we are looking forward to an eclipse. That's going to be another big event here at Sugarloaf. And then, before you know it, reggae. If you haven't made reservations for that yet, uh, you definitely should check it out. We're John, oh, we're going to take a break. We'll come back with Captain Kip and find out how conditions are. I know you can't wait. Stay with us. Backco Financial is an independent wealth management firm here in Falmouth. We pride ourselves on building trustworthy, long-term relationships so that we can be the first call our clients make when they have questions about investments, finance, and life changes. Our team has a variety of expertise and professional designations that allow us to provide holistic financial planning and tailored asset management. Backco Financial. Honest. Independent. Experienced. Cool your fun at the Shipyard Brewhouse, a slopeside delight for skiers and snowboarders alike. We're serving up breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So stop in before, after, or in between your runs. The beer's always flowing and the good times are rolling. So check our website for midweek specials and the live music schedule. I pray all day with cold brews and mountain views at the Shipyard Brewhouse. Bag burger. Love the baked potato, actually. Half in the bag punch. I love the Lifty Lemonade. Cheeseburger soup, very good. Pepperoni pizza. Uh, burger. Yeah, Valentine. Pastrami sandwiches. Uh, chicken wings. Bag burger. Cheese pizza. Bag burger. Whatever's on the menu. All of it. Thanks for tuning into the Mountain Report. Here's the man that you've been waiting to talk to this morning. He is joining us here, brought to you by Downhill Supply Company. I see he's got some nice wide ones going today. Captain Kip, tell us what you know, my friend. Well, it'll be a short, uh, a short, uh, because I, I tell you. Oh, wait, you know. is your mic on? Uh, uh, oh, yes, wait. it is. I believe it is. Oh, sorry. Our fault. Go, Go ahead. ahead. Yep. Yeah. Okay, yes. Yeah. So, uh, Greg, it's nine degrees at the top of uh, Skyline. For the rest of the winter, I wish I had one more layer on, maybe even some hand warmers at the top. And, and it's a southerly breeze right now, so it's blowing in your face going up um, Skyline. Now, the carpet on Skyline, for some reason, wasn't running for us this morning. I don't know if that's going to be throughout the day, so it's a little bit slower. Just, just be aware of that, so that they, they have to run it a little bit slower so you mm-hmm. stay out like you're used to it and uh, get on the lift that way. Everything else seems to be going well. I, I haven't heard any um, lifts that weren't going to run. I, I thought I had Timberline running. i got to tell you, though, from the last couple of days when it was windy, mm-hmm. um, and, I, and I skied yesterday, the better skiing was further down the mountain. Right. You know, even over the Buckstar uh, Express, was great yesterday. It had a lot more snow. Up there, it had drifted in so much, and those drifts were pretty firm. A little bit of a challenge for some of us. I took a spectacular spill. Oh, I wish I could have recorded that. That would have been it was spectacular. But it was because it, on, the, on the right-hand side, it was buff. You come back to the left-hand side, and it was, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe over a foot of, uh, of wind blown. And that was kind of firm. Slows you down a little bit. Good skiing. They flattened that out. It did come down Gandhi Line. They took all that snow that was on the left hand and spread it out all throughout the, throughout the, um, the trail. So it would be a lot better skiing. We only have, I wouldn't even say at the top because of the wind, it's hard to tell, but I don't say we even have an inch up there yet. Right. Uh, but uh, just enough, and going down Gandhi because it's coming over suddenly, coming down like Gandhi line, those uh, little waves are starting where you see through some powder, then right onto the groom and there's some, some powder. So um, it's a little bit, um, you know, back and forth like this. 
Yeah, you have a sore back, it's going to get sore doing that. But if it's the snow accumulates, it's going to get more consistent. Uh, I, did, I did go down through, so that was a lot more consistent. Let's see down low. I'd say from about halfway down. Well, when you get off from um, uh, the super quad, come over towards Sluice, from there down, it was really, really good and more consistent. All the way down, Boardwalk was consistent. It's a little chilly, uh, uh, and only the only kind of wind going up Skyline, I'd say about halfway up Skyline, you start to feel it. But how further is the snow is coming straight down? It's going to be great. It really is. It's just going to improve as the day goes on. I think, as I was talking to you earlier, Greg, that the real heavy stuff is going to get here. Oh, middle of the afternoon to the uh, evening hours. All right. We'll get another good one tomorrow. And if you're looking for a great pair of skis to try on a day like today at Sugarloaf, these, uh, these are your favorite ski, the Mindbender from K2. And, uh, <laughs> Mindbender from K2. It's, uh, it's an all-mountain ski, but it's, if you want to try a 99 underfoot, if you want to try a a, a, a little bit wider ski, and uh, you want to see if it's good for you. This is a really fast turning ski for a wide ski. And see what type of conditions uh, it holds up in. It's a great day to do it. It's, uh, it's a quick ski. A lot of folks really like these. You see a lot of young, young legs on this mine vendor. Uh, you could demo those, these, Greg, today if you want. Go over to John, Downhill Supply Company, and uh, he can put you out there on mine vendors today. A good one too, because they carve well. Um, oh, when they're groomed out, and if you get into the powder, it's they're pretty quick. I don't know. I know brackets open, Greg. I, I I don't know what the conditions are like in there. Um, they're still grooming on the on the east side. It's going to be great because they'll flatten all the bumps out from yesterday, and this will just be smooth underneath as so too much. So I have as far um excuse me, as, as far east as I could get was uh, Gandhi Line. Right, and it's closed up there. So good Right. Great report. And I, you know, those skis, they make you look younger. They do. They do. So I thin out with these. Yeah, you look great. You look great behind oh, those. Well, well, thank you. And uh, so the word for the day really is that you don't have to hurry out. Only going to get better. It's just going to get better. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you run out, it gets going to be a part of the day. First thing, you know, at 830, you'll only have a couple of, which is nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I know it was a suggestion, box, and we... When it's starting to snow here in March, we've had almost 30 inches since the first of March. And um, I think it's, we, we put, you and I put in the suggestion that we, it should snow more here at Chigolo. Yeah. I guess they read the suggestion, Mark. Well, I, I'm glad we can help. You know, that's why we're here, Cap. Hey, stay on the line, Captain. Uh, we got to get some information from you for, for uh, just a moment, and we're going to go to break, and we'll be right back with more. The WSKI TV 17 weather report is brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. Visit them in the village or online at sugarloafmountainside.com. Good morning, skiers and riders, Sugarloaf and Carabasset Valley. Hope you're ready for a nice snow day here at the mountain. Time for your latest local forecast, which you can find, including much more on our website, wsgitv.com. This weather brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. We'll see snow throughout the day today, heavy at times. Over a foot of snow is forecasted, so that is some great news. We'll see summit temperatures in the uh, upper teens, base temperatures in the mid-20s with a light uh, east-southeast breeze across the hill. Shouldn't cause any issues. We're looking at partly, partly to mostly sunny skies for the day on Sunday. Uh, we'll see elevated winds, especially up towards the top of the mountain. Low 20s at the summit for your temperatures and high 20s right around 30 degrees down here at the base for your temperatures. Monday, we're looking at sunny skies, a high of 35 degrees, moderating temperatures up into the 40s for partly sunny skies for Tuesday, and some clouds roll in for the day on Wednesday with a high of 45 degrees. So we may be back to some spring skiing conditions later in the week after all this fresh snow. Birchwood Interiors, check them out in Village West. They're bringing you your trail report, 159 trails serviced by 10 lifts, 60 of those trails groomed out, and we're looking at some nice 
powder and packed powder conditions. We'll see free refills all throughout the day today, so get out there and enjoy it. 8 o'clock, Snubber will get you up to the base lodge. Skidway and Sawdust will move you around the base area at 8.30. And 9 o'clock, the Muscalator gets going. Skyline gets going at 8.30. The Super Quad is open at 8.30 as well and runs till 4.20 today. And we're going to see... Uh, the east side lifts, all good to go, as well as Bucksaw Express and Timberline, good to go at 9 a.m., winds, weather, and conditions permitting. As far as our scheduled grooming last night, they hope to get out to Timberline, as well as Bridal Chain and Tote Road, all the regulars, and Hallback, Choker, Widowmaker, Flu, Misery Whip, and Wham, Ram Down, down on the east side. Jill and Jack Poke on Springboard and Pole Line over on the lower east side, or off of Whipple Tree. Also on the west side, Scoot, Windrow, Horseshoe, West Mountain, a good chance. Chipper, Lower Hatchet, Lower Bucksaw, Lower Feller Buncher, and Whistle Punk, as well as Lower Beaver Tail and Lower Knot Bumper, all groomed out. And we will see that snow adding up throughout the day. So be prepared for some fresh snow skiing out there. Lower Witch's Way, Candy Side Boardwalk, the Landing Birches, and Snowbrook, always all groomed out around the base area. The uphill route is open, as well as touring over in Bracket Basin. And the Lodge and Nordics shop are open 9 to 5 down the Sugarloaf Outdoor Center. Winter's back. They're going to be grooming throughout the day today. There's some snowshoe trails open as well. So get down there and take advantage of some great spring conditions. Anti-gravity complex, great spot for some indoor activity as well as the Sugarloaf Sports and Fitness Center. A great cafe as well. Nice ski in, ski out for a quick meal. And the main ski and snowboard museum is open today as well. Uh, 10.30 to 3.30. So if you've Burned your legs out skiing, need something to do, go check out the Ski Museum of Maine. We're, uh, quad cam, that's so you can see exactly what's happening at the base of the mountain in real time to know before you go. Be sure to check that out throughout the day for the falling snow. And we've got our live mountain report. We've got live reports out on the hill. All the info to know before you go, so be sure to tune in 7.30 to 9 a.m. today and tomorrow morning. We're also streaming lots of ways to watch us. Channel 17 at the hotel or on Spectrum Cable. We're on the Spectrum app. WSKITV.com has the streaming as well as a Roku channel. Get out there and enjoy it, folks. Hello, I'm Earl Morris, owner of Birchwood Interiors. For 31 years, we've been providing you, our fellow sugar loafers, with furniture, flooring, mattresses, and window treatments. But what many sugar loafers don't realize is the amount of construction and new renovation work that we do. From fireplaces to kitchens to bathrooms and steam showers, we do anything inside the walls of a house. We love what we do and hope you'll shop locally with us. Look at that, it's just like magic. See, that was just like an eclipse right there, right from darkness right to light. And uh, there's a beautiful picture of the beach. That's the cam right there at the top over the Widowmaker uh, where they've got some apre entertainment for you to enjoy. And uh, you can enjoy the fire out there. Mountainside Real Estate bringing this live quad cam shot and the other one we're not showing you right now too. 17 degrees as we start the day off here today and only getting better as the day progresses, of course, with this big storm. We're expecting up to 18 inches. It's an exciting time right here at Sugar. Glad you're here this weekend and we got so much to cover here this morning. We're gonna talk about some things to eat because you gotta start the day off with a great cup of coffee and Java Joe's has got you covered right there at 7 a.m. on Main Street. And they also have home big goodies and bagels. The Rack Rescue Breakfast Shack is open today, seven to 11, go down there and you can even park there and get your sandwich, take the shuttle up, boom, there you go and end up back there. Deli's is open four different ways to order. They've got great breakfast and uh, the sandwich. It's all about the bread. Robin Cardle uh, takes the stage three to six at 45 North, located at the Sugarloaf Mountain Hotel. They've got brunch going on Sunday. Check that out, 11 o'clock. Shipyard Brew House, they have got, of course, music on Sunday, 11 to 2. Uh, always something going on, ski in, ski out. And the Bag and Kettle has got Sunday music with Old Atlantic. And a new and improved The Widowmaker, uh, check out Seagrass, 3 to 6. And Sunday, Jay Larkin will take the stage. Open daily, Bowinkle, slide on into Bowie's. Uh, warm up, have a great sandwich. They have food and, of course, a garage bar and much more. Happy Hour begins 3 to 4 at Masamigos. They've got a legendary, uh, uh, specially priced margarita for you. Mountainside Grocers, all your grocery needs for you 
to cook like the best. And at the Sugar Bowl, uh, check out their fried chicken, but they are open for bids, eight bowling lanes, indoor TVs, arcade, and more. Looney Moose Cafe, they have got uh, breakfast, of course, Eclipse Donuts and Whoopie Pies, and uh, delicious food and innovative ideas. And the Flagstaff General Store, that's open, it's in downtown Stratton. You can get all your gas and fuel up yourself as well. And the White Wolf Inn, not your ordinary fare, delicious home-cooked meals. And uh, the famous prime rib is famous for a reason. Check it out at the Trails End Steakhouse. And as I mentioned earlier, we are streaming now. We have expanded our audience. We, we, we are so happy that you can watch in so many different ways. Now, you're already watching this morning, but tell a friend. And, of course, uh, you can find us on Roku. You can download our channel on Roku, and we're on YouTube. We're on our website, WSKITV.com, where you'll find the quad cam and our still cam as well on our website. And lots of people checking that out with the eclipse coming and just checking in on their favorite mountain. We've got more to cover here this morning, and we're going to talk with Sarah about some weddings here. So many people, uh, this is a special place to you. Why not get married? We're going to talk about that coming up. Stay with us. The Town of Carabasset Valley Summer Trail Crew is hiring for both experienced and new employees for this summer. The crew is responsible for building and maintaining the growing bicycle trail network in the region. Do you enjoy working outside? Do you have experience operating heavy equipment? Or do you participate in the sport of mountain biking and are looking to learn the skills and art of trail building with your own two hands? Well, we are looking for you. The town is an equal opportunity employer who provides competitive pay and flexible scheduling. Ideal candidates include recent high school or college grads, those with experience with small engine tools or heavy equipment, and those looking to begin or expand upon a growing career opportunity offered in the challenging forest economies of the Northeast region. Please visit the Recreation Department page on the town website at carabassetvalley.org for more information or to apply. We look forward to hearing from you. The floor you choose can be more than just beautiful. It can also make a difference by being environmentally sustainable and better for the planet. It can last longer and be cleaner and healthier for your home. We care about the same things you do, which is why at Allwood Floors, we only use responsibly sourced real hardwood and bamboo. And because we know the floor you choose can make a difference. Allwood is available exclusively to this region here at Jordan Lumber. Please come down and see what we have. Ask for myself, Brian, or Alyssa. Hey, ski in, ski out at Sugarloaf Inn for unmatched on-mountain convenience. Boot up in the comfort of your room, head down to your private ski locker, and you'll be on the chairlift in no time. After you spend your day making turns at the loaf, head back to the inn for our prey. With the Shipyard Brewhouse on site to serve you breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you'll be fueled up throughout your stay. See you soon for your slopeside stay! Welcome to the Maine Ski and Snowboard Museum. Great location right here on the Access Road at Sugarloaf. Come on by. Our mission statement is to celebrate, preserve, and share the history and heritage of Maine skiing and snowboarding. And that's what we're trying to do. Check the website, mainskiandsnowboardmuseum.org for more information. The phone number is on there. You can call, set up a time if you want, or you can come down when, when we're open. Hope to see you soon. Located in Village West, the Sugarloafer Shop supports the iconic Sugarloaf Triangle that is one of the most recognizable logos in the world. Founded on the traditional logo t-shirt and now offering everything from high-end fashion items, home decor and logo hats, to bathing suits, children's clothes, Under Armour product lines and original artwork and photography by local artists, the Sugarloafer Shop is your one stop for everything logo wear. Stop in and grab some loaf gear today. There it is, the beautiful shot from up there, uh, high atop the Widowmaker. <clears throat> and, and many people don't remember, but 
newly renovated. Uh, it, it looks great, and there's a great deck area up there, 17 degrees. And of course, a lot of people that come into the Widow Maker, they don't even notice the great uh, spot they have upstairs as well, where you can uh, walk out to that deck. And Sarah joins us, and I'm just pointing that out because it's just one of the great amenities that we have here at Sugarloaf. If someone wants to get married, welcome, Sarah. Hi, Thanks nice for being to see here you. this morning. So it's spring, and uh, almost. <laughs> I don't want to consider it spring because there's still winter snow. Correct. But yes. it's spring enough for you to start planning your big day. Yeah, season's ramping up here. You know, we do have a couple more months, but we're getting excited. Yeah. We're very eager um, to kind of see our couples get on property and just kick off a season. So Now, uh, I know a lot of people get married here because it's a special place. Sure. And, uh, what kind of opportunities, what kind of unique things can they experience here that yeah, I mean, I think it's the special part about getting married here is obviously we have our sugar loafers, right? They've come here their whole life. That's usually why they want to get married here. Um, mm. They have a lot of memories and they just want to continue those. Um, but also we like to present it as a destination wedding too. Mm. And we do get a lot of those, which is really special. Um, maybe for couples who've never been here before and they want to bring right. their friends and family just to see a different spot. Um, so I think it's really nice to kind of offer two different things at Sugarloaf right. for couples. Um, as for, obviously, in the summertime, we have the golf course, um, which is spectacular, I'm sure, as you know. And then we also do have, you know, the zip lining and other things to do on property as well. Obviously, Sugarloaf is always growing and trying new things, so it's definitely the spot to be um, the best-kept secret, in my opinion. You know, not just a wedding, because you have the most important people in your whole life going to be there. Right. You want to show them a good time. Absolutely. So there's the rehearsal. Right. There's the day before. There's the crazy people that golf the day of the wedding. Right. Or maybe go kayaking. Sure. There's just a lot of uh, amenities around here to make it that event. Yeah, absolutely. Said. We do rehearsal dinners as well, and we have several locations, so it's not like you're obligated to pick one or the other. Mm. Um, but also then we have, like you said, the golf. Um, you do get a discounted rate when you book with us. Great. So that's kind of a special thing too. We definitely want to accommodate to our wedding guests on property in the summertime mm -hmm. um, to make sure that they feel like this is sort of a vacation for them too. They don't feel like it's, you know, a trek to get up here. So. We've got some pictures right there. Can yeah. Yeah, it's a crazy question. Can you get Boyne rewards for your wedding? You can, yep. So oh, you wow. do you do earn rewards um, mm. up to 40,000 points. You do receive the points after the wedding, so you don't initially get them right away. Sure. But yeah. it's definitely worth it. You know, I've had a lot of couples inquire. Maybe it's a difference between getting a season's pass um, for the winter time, obviously, and then also um, maybe getting a pair of skis. So that's kind of a, a bonus for for people who have the Boyne Rewards. Drink away, my guests. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, that's a, uh, there's some great opportunities here and lots of things to do. Now let's talk about the wedding itself. A lot of components, uh, I've been to a fair amount of weddings myself, and there's a lot of different components about it. And we're in a bit of a, a remote area, uh, obviously. And um, you bring it all together. Uh, the things that I think about, the ceremony, and then sound for the ceremony, and things like that. Right. It's all here. Right, yeah. Yep, so we do have, obviously, a few different venues. And I think people don't realize that we have so many options, which is kind of nice. You know, maybe the beach isn't your spot. Maybe you want that golf course location. Mm -hmm. um, then we also have the Bridal Bridge, the Outdoor Center, um, and then, obviously, moving to Cocktail Hour, and then Reception maybe the Widowmaker Outdoor Center or King Pine Room. Mm. Um, so we have anything from an elopement to a 300 person wedding, yeah. which is great. I want to have uh, my ceremony that time on the seventh hole when I got the hole in one. Oh. <laughs> I just made that up. I was going to say, I don't know <laughs> we can make that happen, but we can definitely be at the golf course and you still get the views. Right, and you still get the views. How do people find out more and, um, and they, they should check out the website perhaps? Absolutely. Or give you a call? You sure. do tours, right? Yeah, we do site tours. Weddings at Sugarloaf.com is the best way to contact me, um, whether it's filling out a form on our website or just sending an email saying, hey, you know, whether you're engaged, not engaged, or in the planning process, feel mm. free to inquire with us. We set up site tours. I'm more than happy to do that and take the time to walk through everything with you. I think it's extremely informational, whether you're a sugar loafer or not. And there's someone watching right now sitting there going, Honey, why do we get married? <laughs> 
They're sure. going to be dialing you up today, Sarah. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> I'm around all day. So, <laughs> well, thank, thank you, you so Sarah. much. A pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for sharing the information. And get married at Chulo. Why not? It's a great experience. Uh, we're going to take a break. We'll be back. The WSKI TV 17 weather report is brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. Visit them in the village or online at sugarloafmountainside.com. Good morning, skiers and riders, Sugarloaf and Carabasset Valley. Hope you're ready for a nice snow day here at the mountain. Time for your latest local forecast, which you can find, including much more on our website, wsgitv.com. This weather brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. We'll see snow throughout the day today, heavy at times. Over a foot of snow is forecasted, so that is some great news. We'll see summit temperatures in the uh, upper teens, base temperatures in the mid-20s with a light uh, east-southeast breeze across the hill. Shouldn't cause any issues. We're looking at partly, partly to mostly sunny skies for the day on Sunday. Uh, we'll see elevated winds, especially up towards the top of the mountain. Low 20s at the summit for your temperatures and high 20s right around 30 degrees down here at the base for your temperatures. Monday, we're looking at sunny skies, a high of 35 degrees, moderating temperatures up into the 40s for partly sunny skies for Tuesday, and some clouds roll in for the day on Wednesday with a high of 45 degrees. So we may be back to some spring skiing conditions later in the week after all this fresh snow. Birchwood Interiors, check them out in Village West. They're bringing you your trail report, 159 trails serviced by 10 lifts, 60 of those trails groomed out, and we're looking at some nice powder and packed powder conditions we'll see free refills all throughout the day today so get out there and enjoy it eight o'clock snubber will get you up to the base lodge skidway and sawduster move you around the base area at 8 30 and nine o'clock the muscalator gets going skyline gets going at 8 30 the super quad is open at 8 30 as well and runs till 4 20 today and we're going to see uh the east side lifts all good to go as well as bucksaw express and timberline Good to go at 9 a.m. Winds, weather, and conditions permitting. As far as our scheduled grooming last night, they hope to get out to Timberline as well as Bridal Chain and Tote Road, all the regulars, and Hallback, Choker, Widowmaker, Flume, Misery Whip, and Wham Ram Down down on the east side. Jill and Jack Poke on Springboard and Pole Line over on the lower east side or off of Whiffle Tree. Also on the west side, Scoot, Windrow, Horseshoe, West Mountain, a good chance. Chipper, Lower Hatchet, Lower Bucksaw, Lower Feller Buncher, and Whistle Punk as well as lower beaver tail and lower knot bumper, all groomed out. And we will see that snow adding up throughout the day. So be prepared for some fresh snow skiing out there. Lower Winters Way, Candyside Boardwalk, the Landing, Birches, and Snowbrook, always all groomed out around the base area. The uphill route is open, as well as touring over in Bracket Basin. And the Lodge and Nordics shop are open 9 to 5 down the Sugarloaf Outdoor Center. Winter's back. They're going to be grooming throughout the day today. There's some snowshoe trails open as well. So get down there and take advantage of some great spring conditions. Anti-gravity complex, great spot for some indoor activity as well as the Sugarloaf Sports and Fitness Center. A great cafe as well. Nice ski in, ski out for a quick meal. And the main ski and snowboard museum is open today as well. Uh, 10.30 to 3.30. So if you've Burned your legs out skiing, need something to do, go check out the Ski Museum of Maine uh, quad cam. That's so you can see exactly what's happening at the base of the mountain in real time to know before you go. Be sure to check that out throughout the day for the falling snow. And we've got our live mountain report. We've got live reports out on the hill. All the info to know before you go, so be sure to tune in 7.30 to 9 a.m. today and tomorrow morning. We're also streaming lots of ways to watch us. Channel 17 at the hotel or on Spectrum Cable or on the Spectrum app. WSKITV.com has the streaming as well as a Roku channel. Get out there and enjoy it, folks. Hi, I'm Deb Pierce. I've been a sugar loafer since 1975. My style is really low pressure um, and nurturing. I like helping people through the whole process, make them feel comfortable. Um, I'm a good listener. This market is crazier than I've ever seen. So if you're looking to buy or sell, please come see me here right in the village. Um, we're here every day, 9 to 5. The Rescue Shack, and we've got a, a Sarah with us, and she has been enthusiastically down here on weekends, uh, 7 to 11 o'clock. Sarah, how are you? I am excellent. Yeah. It's been a really great run doing mornings and yeah. making people's day a little bit better, you know, hot and ready. I think it's just starting to catch on that everything is ready to serve. As you pull in, you will have your sandwich in under five minutes. If 
if I have my way about it. I have the newest piece of restaurant equipment here at the rack, which is a blessing in so many ways. So the sandwiches are guaranteed to be absolutely delicious. Cheese melted to perfection. You know it's going to be toasted. Just how we like it here at the rack. Oh, you know how to describe it, don't you? So uh, you gave us a great hint the other day when we've been passing along. You could come down here first thing in the morning, have your sandwich, and uh, say hello, of course, and then take the shuttle up. That is very true. We have an ample parking space. The shuttle bus drivers love us dearly. I try to keep them as caffeinated as possible to get oh. through. And uh, yeah, I'm waiting for somebody to figure out that they can just park right here, catch the shuttle up, and then see us again when we open at three or four. You, you start and end in the right place right here. Now, you have coffee, but you have other things. I sure do. Bloody Marys and mimosas. Thank you, Janet Mills, are to go this season. You are welcome to come really? grab a four pack of either and take it up to the condo. Surprise your friends. Creates a really nice atmosphere. We typically have four different types of breakfast sandwiches. We also have been doing breakfast pizza because our chef is amazing. Mm. And Brandy is the pizza wizard, if we're yeah. being honest. And you could take it to go. That's crazy. You got like a pardon from the governor. It's it's a beautiful thing, you yeah. know. She saw us, saw what we were doing, and said, you know, let my people drink. Hey, Janet. Uh, come on down and say hello to Sarah because she's always a happy, smiling face first thing in the morning, and we appreciate it. Thanks. Side note, I've got to give a plug for Sunday. We are doing an awesome boiled dinner here to celebrate St. Patrick's Day, and we'd love to see all of you. Who knows? You might even see it on the breakfast menu. Aha! There it is, a scoop. We appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you soon. <laughs> We're back. It's a mountain report, and there it is, uh, top of uh, skyline, and we have got uh, Connor joining us, ski patrol extraordinaire up there at the top. Connor, good morning to you, sir. How are you? I'm doing great, Craig, and how are you guys? Thanks. Thanks. Living the dream, uh, enjoying the snow coming down. As we take a look at the camera, it's not re doesn't look like it's really dumping that hard up there. No, nope. um, we got a little bit of snow on the ground, nothing crazy. Uh, seems like the storm is going to be coming in throughout the day. Yeah. So uh, as the day progresses, it'll get better. I hope so. I mean, I'm seeing 18 to 24. I know, right? This is exciting stuff and uh, just bizarre how this winter has been. But we'll take it when we can get it. Exactly. Um, what, what do we got? There's no wind to issues to deal with today. Is that correct? No, we're dealing with winds about 10 to 15 up top right trails, now. Um, it, has, it is not affecting any of the lifts at the moment, though. Yeah. Have we got any activities going on that anyone should be aware of today? Um, we just have CVA on their typical comp hill and using the T-bar. Uh, go Bulldogs. All right, so uh, we have got um, a lot of people here. Any safety advice for our guests out there? No, just remember it's snowing hard and there's going to be a ton of people out there. <laughs> <laughs> That's it in a nutshell. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, Carl. What's your trail of choice? Oh, Binder's always fun. Binder it is. Thank you, my friend. We're going to see you live on the set soon. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you, Greg. Thanks, Thanks Mike. All right. There you have it. A very busy ski patrol up there, as you can tell. Not dumping up there as much, but it's going to continue. It's going to continue, and uh, we are going to see some real snow depth. You might want to try out uh, maybe some wide skis, and you're definitely going to need some tips on how to ski this stuff. And guess what? We've got Pete Howard joining us here on the program coming up, and he's going to give us that. We'll be right back. Who's tired of standing in the beer aisle trying to make sense of 1,000 different IPAs? Can't there just be an easy choice? Shipyard's American Pale Ale cuts through the noise. It is the American Craft Classic. Perfectly balanced and bursting with just the right amount of modern hop flavors. This is a beer for beer lovers that just don't need to overthink it. Delicious, flavorful, craft you can rely on. Shipyard APA. The perfect choice every time. We're here at the Widowmaker and we're going to reveal the new chicken sandwich here with Sandy Bell at the Widowmaker. Look at it. 
it's it's a work of art. Tell us Isn't about it. it? Yeah. Well, we take a uh, chicken thigh, marinated in buttermilk, then hand bread it, deep fry it, drizzle it with hot honey, add lettuce, tomato, and onion, and a bread and butter pickle aioli. And it is to die for. And the fries, season? Seasoned fries, yeah. mm -hmm. and they're excellent. Yeah. And it goes really well with this sessionable cold brew IPA by Baxter Brewing. Mm -hmm. it, every bit of it is done at 13 below, hence the name 13 below. It's only a 4.2, so it's very sessionable. All a good session. So we're happy to serve you a lot of them. <laughs> with a smile, that's right. And I think you'll be smiling when you order this. This looks like a, a very filling meal. Yeah, Karen and Peter are very excited about this. <laughs> so it's awesome. And Just one of the new items, right? Yes, they have um, other new items. They also brought back nachos, um, which I think is, you know, a great Widowmaker tradition. Yeah. So everyone's pretty excited about it. You can come in every day. Yeah. They do food from 11 to 7, and then the bar is open till 8, except for weekends, and the bar is open till 10. You know, and don't forget, you can sit upstairs like we are. Oh, yeah. This has always been such a great space. I remember when I took over the Widowmaker and they used it for storage. I'm like, wait a minute. I think this would be a great place to sit. <laughs> a lot of people are enjoying it today. Yeah. No, it's great. It's warm. The view is awesome. I mean, there's no other place like it. All you need is a chicken sandwich like this. Thanks, Sandy. You're very welcome. See you on the flip side. Backco Financial is an independent wealth management firm here in Falmouth. We pride ourselves on building trustworthy, long-term relationships so that we can be the first call our clients make when they have questions about investments, finance, and life changes. Our team has a variety of expertise and professional designations that allow us to provide holistic financial planning and tailored asset management. Backco Financial, honest, independent, experienced. All right, go big dogs. They're going to be using their T-bar today, and it is 18 degrees, temperature up just one little degree. Uh, not dumping as much as we want. We want more snow here, and it is going to come eventually. It's going to pick up as the day progresses. Mountside Real Estate bringing you this live quad, quad cam shot, and as I promised earlier, Pete Howard joins us. Uh, Peter, how are you, my friend? Hi, Greg. Nice good, to see you. you. Yeah, and you dress for the occasion and everything. Yes, I yeah. did. I'm uh, ready professional to go. Ski Instructors of America, American Association of Snowboard Instructors as well. He is representing here this morning. Thanks for being with us, Pete. And Sugarloaf, of course. And Sugarloaf, Sugarloaf, of course. Ski and Snowboard School. And you're representing the Mountain Masters today, right? Well, yeah, um, that's a program that runs all winter, and actually this is the conclusion of the program Grand this finale. weekend. Yeah, but I'm really here to talk about soft snow skiing. And you know what? <laughs> that, I teased everyone about that. We want some tips from the master here. Well, I, I guess I'd start by saying, you know, that, I mean, most people know this, but it's really not about sit, sitting back, right? There, But there is a stance that works well in powder, and if you're happen to be in your living room and you pick your feet up, what that does is it fires a set of muscles on the front of your legs and it'll move the, it'll move your lower leg towards your foot. And if you were in a ski boot, it will put the front of your leg against the tongue of your ski boot. But at the same time, it, it'll, it'll kind of ground your heels. And so that's the, uh, you know, sort of sporty snow stance. The I remedy say. instead of leaning back. Yeah, instead of leaning back. So you're sort of doing two things at once. You, you have contact with the cuff of the boot so you can put direction into the front of the ski, but you also have your, your heels kind of grounded so when you hit piles and so forth, you don't go over the handlebars. And, uh, you know, one of the things that's interesting and a little bit different uh, about soft snow skiing is you really have to carry tension in your ankle joint so your ankles don't sort of open up and then close and open up and close. You have to t keep tension there so that you know, you're not all over the place over the length of the ski. And that goes for your, your waist as well. 
because, you know, when you hit piles of stuff, you don't want to be like that little drinking bird in the doctor's <laughs> office and go like that, right? So you have tension in your middle and tension in your ankle joints. And then you need to be sort of flexible in other places. So skiing is a, a really interesting sport that way that we distribute tension and relaxation in different parts of our body. Mm -hmm. So when we're in this soft snow that's kind of pulling our feet around and trying to separate ourselves, that's when we have to carry this tension. And, um, you know, a lot of people get tired when they ski this. And sometimes they're tired because they're too far back. And if their equipment disappeared, they'd fall on their bum. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it's because, actually most of the time, if you're, um, you know, a, an advanced zone skier, we get tired in this because that uh, tension that's required to stay in the middle of your feet causes your muscle groups, your opposing muscle groups, to fire against each other to hold you in a place. And they, the uh, University of Utah has done studies on high-end athletes skiing, and they call it quasi-static muscle firing. So you fire your quads against your hamstrings, you fire your abductors against, um, excuse me, your abdominal, abdominal muscles against the muscles in the back of your spine. All that's happening to kind of hold yourself where you're not going to get all pulled apart by the, you know, the friction of the snow. Interesting. Yeah. That's, it, I've never heard it explained like that. It's some great information. And the muscles, of course, you need to stay hydrated as well, of course, when oh, you're oh, doing you that bet. kind. Yeah. Yeah, interesting, yeah. like if you're riding a horse or whatever, you use muscles that you normally don't. Right, yeah. You know, yeah. Kind of opposing. Now, like there's that. a lot going on because it's like your, your skis or your feet are captains of a couple boats, mm. and the ocean gets kind of rough. I see that and what if, you did there. It's a sailing reference. <laughs> <laughs> Stay with us, Pete. Pete Howard's uh, with us, and we're talking uh, skiing. We're going to talk more about uh, Perfect Turn and uh, his role over there and others. We'll be right back. WSKI TV 17 Weather Report is brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. Visit them in the village or online at sugarloafmountainside.com. Good morning, skiers and riders, Sugarloaf and Carabasset Valley. Hope you're ready for a nice snow day here at the mountain. Time for your latest local forecast, which you can find, including much more on our website, wskitv.com. This weather brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. We'll see snow throughout the day today, heavy at times. Over a foot of snow is forecasted, so that is some great news. We'll see summit temperatures in the uh, upper teens, base temperatures in the mid-20s with a light uh, east-southeast breeze across the hill. Shouldn't cause any issues. We're looking at partly, partly to mostly sunny skies for the day on Sunday. Uh, we'll see elevated winds, especially up towards the top of the mountain. Low 20s at the summit for your temperatures and high 20s right around 30 degrees down here at the base for your temperatures. Monday, we're looking at sunny skies, high up 35 degrees, moderating temperatures up into the 40s for partly sunny skies for Tuesday, and some clouds roll in for the day on Wednesday with a high of 45 degrees. So it may be back to some spring skiing conditions later in the week after all this fresh snow. Birchwood Interiors, check them out in Village West. They're bringing you your trail port, 159 trails, serviced by 10 lifts, 60 of those trails groomed out, and we're looking at some nice powder and packed powder conditions we'll see free refills all throughout the day today so get out there and enjoy it eight o'clock snubber will get you up to the base lodge skidway and sawdust remove you around the base area at 8 30 and nine o'clock the muscalator gets going skyline gets going at 8 30 the super quad is open at 8 30 as well and runs till 4 20 today and we're going to see uh the east side lifts all good to go as well as bucksaw express and timberline good to go at 9 a.m winds weather and conditions permitting as far as our scheduled grooming last night, they hope to get out to Timberline as well as Bridal Chain and Tote Road, all the regulars, and Hallback, Choker, Widowmaker, Flume, Misery Whip, and Wham Ram Down down on the east side. Jill and Jack Poke on Springboard and Pole Line over on the lower east side or off of Wiffle Tree. Also on the west side, Scoot, Windrow, Horseshoe, West Mountain, a good chance. Chipper, Lower Hatchet, Lower Bucksaw, Lower Feller Buncher, and Whistle Punk as well as lower beaver tail and lower knot bumper, all groomed out. And we will see that snow adding up throughout the day. So be prepared for some 
Fresh snow skiing out there. Lower Witcher's Way, Candyside Boardwalk, the Landing, Birches, and Snowbrook. Always all groomed out around the base area. The uphill route is open as well as touring over in Bracket Basin. And the Lodge and Nordics shop are open 9 to 5 down to the Sugarloaf Outdoor Center. Winter's back. They're going to be grooming throughout the day today. There's some snowshoe trails open as well. So get down there and take advantage of some great spring conditions. Anti-gravity complex, great spot for some indoor activity as well as the Sugarloaf Sports and Fitness Center. A great cafe as well. Nice ski in, ski out for a quick meal. And the main ski and snowboard museum is open today as well. Uh, 10.30 to 3.30. So if you Burned your legs out skiing, need something to do, go check out the Ski Museum of Maine uh, quad cam. That's so you can see exactly what's happening at the base of the mountain in real time to know before you go. Be sure to check that out throughout the day for the falling snow. And we've got our live mountain report. We've got live reports out on the hill. All the info to know before you go, so be sure to tune in 7.30 to 9 a.m. today and tomorrow morning. We're also streaming lots of ways to watch us. Channel 17 at the hotel or on Spectrum Cable. We're on the Spectrum app. WSKITB.com has the streaming as well as a Roku channel. Get out there and enjoy it, folks. I'm Michelle DeFrosia. I've been the business manager here at Birchwood Interiors for over a decade. I'm part of a team that I'm very proud of. Our company's goal to treat every customer who walks through the door as our best friend isn't just a slogan. Our clients really do become our friends. The trust that our clients put in us is refreshing in today's world. All of us at Birchwood Interiors seek every day to work with integrity and professionalism that will continue to earn that trust. We're in Village West, so come on in, pull up a sofa, and see what we can do for you. All right, we are back with the narrow gauge cam, and that will be spinning later, and we'll have some uh, CVA folks at training out there. That really is a great area for them. And look at all the snow we've got. It's not dumping as fast as we'd like, but it is coming down. It's going to continue throughout the day. Pete Howers is here, and he's been giving us some good tips for this kind of snow and uh, skiing in general. Uh, Pete, thanks. again, we were talking about the stance and the muscles and a little... Please give us more because we all want to ski better because it's more enjoyable. Well, I think another one of the sort of misnomers about powder skiing along with sitting back, yeah, you don't sit back, is that in powder you don't need to edge. And, the, I mean, to a degree that's true. It's not like you have to make your skis hold. However, when we ski, when we tip our skis over, it creates a bank of snow under both of them. And in a way, we're creating a moving bobsled run. So if, if when you're skiing powder, you're just sort of doing the up-down kind of dolphin thing, you're, you're missing out on the help that the ski design can give you. So if you do tip your skis and get them to go like that, they'll pierce the piles of snow better, and uh, the ski design will help you cut through uh, the harbor top and so forth. So um, that's very helpful, you know. And that's, uh, it's tempting to think that powder skiing is all sort of up, pivot, down, up, pivot, down. And it actually works better. You'll, you'll have uh, more, more uh, energy right. if you do this. Does that apply to like, you know, like a fresh groomed kind of powdery snow or? It, it would apply to pretty much all snow conditions. Yep. Yep. You want to do your best to harness the design of the ski to help you. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing I would share about, you know, when we ski deeper snow and powder, first of all, you may not know what's underneath it, and secondly, you may not be able to see. And so when you're coming around a turn, if you feel like a lot of load on one foot all of a sudden, like you kind of hit something, there's a bump there, boom, like that. As soon as you feel load on the old turning ski, go to the new one. If you hang on to that and end up looking at the woods and across the trail, it's not as effective as if you go right from one to the other. Um, so those would be, you know, my, my tips for skiing deeper snow conditions. Mm -hmm. You know, get that powder stance where you got the, the front of your leg against the cuff of your boot, your heels grounded. Um, realize that you're firing opposing muscle groups against each other create that bobsled like run use the design of your skis and when you feel 
you hit something a little bit or get loaded up on one foot, switch immediately to the other one. Mm -hmm. And those are some of the things that, uh, t that help. I mean, realize that your feet are captains of a couple boats and, you know, there's going to be a lot of people having fun out here today and snow's going to get cut up. It's going to get kind of harbor choppy a bit. And so having guidance on both skis, not just the outside one, is helpful. Uh, yeah, so. it's a it's a great weekend. I, Bracket Basin's open. I don't know if you ever get a chance to, with the Mountain Masters to ever go in there. What do you do you have any tips for that type of skiing in the woods? Well, uh, one one of the things I guess I would say is in the woods and in the bumps, you do what you got to do sometimes <laughs> because there is consequence to inaccuracy. Okay, so it's it's good to try to, I guess. I guess I would say that realize that some places you're in a speed carrying environment, groom trails, open places. Yep. Other places you're in a speed control environment. So trees, bumps, steeps, speed control environment. So good skiers have tactics that they use. You need to be able to slip a bit. You may need to step one ski out. You may need to hop. Um, you may need to even jump a little bit. So those things are tactics that higher level skiers use in the trees and in the bumps that helps them keep the shiny side up. <laughs> and in the same token, if you go in there, maybe you're with a more advanced skier, you're just starting off, you need to be prepared to make those moves. Right, and it's, it's helpful if you have somebody that you know that you know, can yeah. take you to the uh, sensible place. And speaking of being sensible, um, you know, it's, it's going to be a great day. It's going to be a lot of fun, but I, I really hope everybody, you know, know your limitations and, and respect other people's space out there today. And I think everybody's going to have a really nice day. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And I know you're anxious to get out there. So uh, let's talk about Perfect Turn a little bit. I know you already mentioned one of the programs that you're involved, but uh, give us a pitch here because also uh, you do privates. Maybe you can outline some of the services. Yeah, well... You know, obviously we do um, programs for children from the age of three on up. Uh, we have big seasonal programs that tend to sell out pretty early in the, in the fall. So if you do have a child that's interested in one of our season-long programs, um, got to pay attention to the website, and, uh, and we really hope that we'll be able to get you into one. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously we have daily programs as well. Uh, for the children from three on up and also uh, we do adult we still do adult group lessons although the interest in those seems to have gone down a bit I'm not sure why hmm. uh, and we also do private lessons of course and we have adult season long programs and there are also midweek ones um, Tuesdays and Thursdays there's been one going on through the week so um, while I don't have all the prices in my head or anything like that, Greg, yeah. um, if people are interested, they should just go to our perfect turn desk down on the ground floor of the right. base area. And, and of uh, course, Pete, when we, when we say skiing, we've been skiing, the right. same th thing applies for yeah. snowboarders, snowboarders as well as perfect well. turn. Yeah. Uh, although I may not be a snowboarder, or right. I'm sure you've tried it before. But I have a you, little bit. You prefer skiing. I do. It's okay. Um, it's a there's, good thing. there's a lady named Liz Stephanie who's an uh, excellent uh, yes, Telmark yeah. skier, and we do also Telmark coaching as well. Yeah. So. Lots of different programs. You can go check it out. Ask them, go and ask questions and find just the right program for you and your family. Remember, it's always better when someone else teaches your child how to ski. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, thanks for Greg, being here. Really over. appreciate it. And You're thanks. Welcome. It's nice to see you. Have fun out there. Uh, intend to. All right. We'll take a break. We'll be right back with more. See Sugarloaf through the eyes of a child at the brand new Amos and Friends store. Offering sweets, treats, toys, apparel, and more for the littlest loafers. Now open daily on Main Street in the Sugarloaf Village. 
Great Northern Cabinetry has been making fine quality, handcrafted cabinetry designed for kitchens, baths, and many other areas of your home since 1972. Tastes and designs change, but quality craftsmanship and great value do not. Offering a huge selection with competitive prices, Great Northern Cabinetry can make that one-of-a-kind cabinet to meet your unique needs. Contact authorized dealer Birchwood Interiors and Village West to create the perfect design for your home. The one-stop shop for all your alpine needs. Downhill Supply Company carries goods and gear from the ski industry's top manufacturers and offers the latest in ski tuning technology. Let our friendly and knowledgeable staff get you geared up for any mountain adventure. Located in the heart of the Sugarloaf Village and open daily. Bag burger. Love the baked potato, actually. Half in the bag punch. I love the Lifty Lemonade. Cheeseburger soup, very good. Pepperoni pizza. Uh. Burger. Yeah, Valentine. Pastrami sandwiches. Uh, chicken wings. Bag burger. Cheese pizza. Bag burger. Whatever's on the menu. All of it. The man, the myth, the legend, he is the Iron Man of the Mountain here joining us up, up at the top of the hill there. So uh, lie to us and tell us how much snow is dumping up there, Kep. What do you think? Well, it's only been about a foot so far. <laughs> you know, Greg, where I am right now, it's only been about an inch. It's really the beginning of the storm. Every once in a while, we'll get some real heavy flakes. Then it clears up and it gets light overhead and it gets into small, almost sleet like It's starting to pick up again. I... I from what I read this morning, I don't think it's really going to start really pounding us till lunchtime, maybe a little bit after. Oh, but the skiing is great. You know, there's, there's an inch of new snow on, on uh, 10 inches of nice groomed out snow, so the skiing is really, really good. Don't know what it's like out of bounds, but where I've skied, since I saw you last, Greg, I went down Comp Hill. Uh, well, uh, nobody's been down that. That's a, that's a good one from the first thing this morning. And um, if I came down... Uh, uh, Nail Gage, boy, was that really good. It was really good. The skiing is good. Now, remember, coming up Skyline, for some reason, the carpet's not running. So uh, it's running a little bit slow. So you've got to pull your way out. It's a little bit slow, a little bit longer trip on the way out. But it's really good skiing. It's, it's chilly. I'm, I'm going to go uh, right after this and put another layer on underneath the, uh, underneath the coat here because it's, it's a little bit chilly up here. I, uh, my socks are about a four, keeping myself warm. <laughs> It's, uh, it's well blue skiing, I'll tell you. It's really, really good skiing, so go on out and enjoy it. It's going to be good all day, and I suspect tomorrow, tomorrow is going to be another perfect day. It is going to be, be a perfect day. We're looking at partly sunny skies. What a great weekend to be here, huh? Oh, it's, it's great. And, you know, uh, uh, I didn't, I really, I forgot to mention this uh, first thing, but happy um, uh, Maple Surf Day, or oh, weekend, or whatever it is. Oh. Uh, yeah. Don't, don't, yeah. Don't, don't get, get all off. sappy on us. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch! It's perfect. It's, it's, it's really good skiing. You know, those mind benders, I've really, really enjoyed those. That's a great ski. I can see why they're so popular. You could try a pair if you want, right over the Downhill Supply Company. Right in there. See, John, he's ready to help you out. It's a, it's a great ski. And if they don't have your size right there, uh, they can get it for you within a couple of days. Perfect. We appreciate it, Captain. Great report. Yeah. I hope you are enjoying yourself, and uh, it's only going to yeah. get better. And think about it tomorrow, oh, man. If you were only here for the day, call in. Great. Uh, well, if you need to, if you if you're supposed to work, yep. even Monday, yep. you know, uh, we can sign a note for you right here. Doctor Files. Excuse you can work. Yes. <laughs> Doctor Files and the Mind Benders. Uh, right. You know, and they just opened up on the east side, so yeah. um, that, that's moved out, but it, it's. Like, it's going to snow on top. It's going to be great. Everything's going to be just, just great. I don't know. Again, I'm not 100% sure yep. the Black and Basin are the, are the uh, glades on. Right. And, and they, there's no cat skiing today. Uh, there may, who knows? Uh, perhaps tomorrow, but uh, nothing today. Perhaps. They were talking about it uh, for uh, yesterday afternoon. Yeah. We'll see what the uh, snow brings. Um, 
today, you know. What they, they, you know, if you look at Russ, he said we could get 20 plus. Well, we'll see how that works out. Well, he he's been uh, he's been a good man so far. We can't. Oh, he's out there. He's a great weatherman, and you know, I I would I wouldn't be surprised if we had 20 inches or more by uh, by tomorrow morning. No, I'd be surprised, and I'd be happy. We'll be yeah, happy. yeah. We'll Don't forget to take the shovel home with you, Greg. So you can get out of. Out of the house. I got a scoop. That's right. <laughs> Thanks, Kip. We'll get another report from Captain Kip and uh, enjoy the powder out there. Enjoy the skiing. Yeah. Thanks, Kip. There he is. Brought to you by the Downhill Supply Company, Captain Kip. Uh, we'll take a break. We'll be back. We got more. Stay with us. WSKI TV 17 Weather Report is brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. Visit them in the village or online at sugarloafmountainside.com. Good morning, skiers and riders, Sugarloaf and Carabasset Valley. Hope you're ready for a nice snow day here at the mountain. Time for your latest local forecast, which you can find, including much more, on our website, wsgitv.com. This weather brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. We'll see snow throughout the day today, heavy at times. Over a foot of snow is forecasted, so that is some great news. We'll see summit temperatures in the uh, upper teens, base temperatures in the mid-20s with a light uh, east-southeast breeze across the hill. Shouldn't cause any issues. We're looking at partly, partly to mostly sunny skies for the day on Sunday. Uh, we'll see elevated winds, especially up towards the top of the mountain. Low 20s at the summit for your temperatures and high 20s right around 30 degrees down here at the base for your temperatures. Monday, we're looking at sunny skies, a high of 35 degrees, moderating temperatures up into the 40s for partly sunny skies for Tuesday, and some clouds roll in for the day on Wednesday with a high of 45 degrees. So we may be back to some spring skiing conditions later in the week after all this fresh snow. Birchwood Interiors, check them out in Village West. They're bringing you your trail port, 159 trails, serviced by 10 lifts, 60 of those trails groomed out, and we're looking at some nice powder and packed powder conditions we'll see free refills all throughout the day today so get out there and enjoy it eight o'clock snubber will get you up to the base lodge skidway and sawdust remove you around the base area at 8 30 and nine o'clock the muscalator gets going skyline gets going at 8 30 the super quad is open at 8 30 as well and runs till 4 20 today and we're going to see 
uh, the East Side lifts, all good to go, as well as Bucksaw Express and Timberline, good to go at 9 a.m., winds, weather, and conditions permitting. As far as our scheduled grooming last night, they hope to get out to Timberline, as well as Bridal Chain and Tote Road, all the regulars, and Hallback, Choker, Widowmaker, Flume, Misery Whip, and Wham, Ram Down down on the East Side. Jill and Jack Poke on Springboard and Pole Line over on the Lower East Side, or off of Whiffle Tree. Also on the west side, Scoot, Windrow, Horseshoe, West Mountain, a good chance. Chipper, Lower Hatchet, Lower Bucksaw, Lower Feller Buncher, and Whistle Punk, as well as Lower Beaver Tail and Lower Knot Bumper, all groomed out. And we will see that snow adding up throughout the day. So be prepared for some fresh snow skiing out there. Lower Winter's Way, Candy Side Boardwalk, the Landing, Birches, and Snowbrook, always all groomed out around the base area. The uphill route is open, as well as touring over in Bracket Basin. And the Lodge and Nordics shop are open 9 to 5 down the Sugarloaf Outdoor Center. Winter's back. They're going to be grooming throughout the day today. There's some snowshoe trails open as well. So get down there and take advantage of some great spring conditions. Anti-gravity complex, great spot for some indoor activity as well as the Sugarloaf Sports and Fitness Center. A great cafe as well. Nice ski in, ski out for a quick meal. And the main ski and snowboard museum is open today as well. Uh, 10.30 to 3.30. So if you've Burned your legs out skiing, need something to do, go check out the Ski Museum of Maine uh, quad cam. That's so you can see exactly what's happening at the base of the mountain in real time to know before you go. Be sure to check that out throughout the day for the falling snow. And we've got our live mountain report. We've got live reports out on the hill. All the info to know before you go, so be sure to tune in 730 to 9 a.m. today and tomorrow morning. We're also streaming lots of ways to watch us. Channel 17 at the hotel or on Spectrum Cable. We're on the Spectrum app. WSKITB.com has the streaming as well as a Roku channel. Get out there and enjoy it, folks. Hi, my name is Barb Larson, and I've been a sugar loafer since I was about 10 years old. My favorite way to spend the day at Sugarloaf is without a doubt with my daughter and my husband taking some turns on the mountain. We live here, we work here, our kids are in the programs. We have our finger on the pulse of the market every single day. If you're looking to buy or sell, please come and visit. We're nearly skiing, ski out right off of Main Street at Sugarloaf. All right, we are back, and that is the camera up there, mounted on the Gene Loose building right there. And uh, yesterday, everyone was had the opportunity to ride that T-bar. It's only for the training, but yesterday they made an exception. Nice of them, as we uh, overcame the wind challenges yesterday, which is great because Mother Nature <laughs> missed the boat. It's not windy today. It was just windy yesterday. So we are looking at some great conditions, 18 degrees, uh, snow coming down, conditions getting better as the day progresses, and looking for the big dump right here. Mountainside Real Estate bringing us live quad cam shot. And you know what? Snow, no snow, it doesn't even matter. Mountainside Real Estate open today. You can buy or sell your house today. That's right. And we have got a little a piece that we did as we went down and checked out all the indoor activities at the anti-gravity complex because you know what? It's big. We are here at the Carabasset Valley Anti-Gravity Recreational Complex. We just call it the AGC. And there's a whole lot of fun in here. We're gonna take you inside and show you. We are here at the Anti-Gravity Complex and we're gonna take a look at some of the fun things to do here. I got my helmet, uh, I need to attach it. But right now, we'll first look at the climbing wall. This is the Clumbegan climbing wall, of course. This looks pretty cool. This is just some of the indoor fun that the Anti-Gravity Complex has. Come on, we'll show you more. Hey, if it has anything to do with the ball, it's probably going to happen right here. Maybe you want to shoot some hoops, volleyball, pickleball, or maybe just take some laps right around the gym. Sure is comfortable, and they got tunes. We are here at the trampolines. This looks totally awesome right down here. It does require reservations. 
And it's booked up quite often, but I'll tell you what, I can see why. This looks like fun. How big is the bowl? Look, it's big. Put your helmet on and come on in. It's best with a skateboard or maybe some inline skates. Hey, here at the AGC, whether you're looking to maybe burn some calories off or maybe you're looking to tone up your look. Either way, you can do it right here. All the exercise equipment anyone would ever need and it's handicap accessible right here. There's an elevator. Here at the AGC, got it going on. We are here in the workout. This is where yoga classes and weights and all kinds of fun things. Spin class takes place here and your choice of balls over here in the corner. Check it out. Hey, little kitchen area right here, perhaps a little kids party here. Great idea. Look, in that machine, no soda, just water. So next time you're on the hill, maybe it's a wind hole day, or you just want to come unwind with some friends after the slopes close. Right here, the anti-gravity complex. Bottom of the access road, take a right and another hard right, right past the library. It's big. Come and join them. Who's tired of standing in the beer aisle trying to make sense of 1,000 different IPAs? Can't there just be an easy choice? Shipyard's American Pale Ale cuts through the noise. It is the American Craft Classic. Perfectly balanced and bursting with just the right amount of modern hop flavors. This is a beer for beer lovers that just don't need to overthink it. Delicious, flavorful, craft you can rely on. Shipyard APA, the perfect choice every time. Well, I love to come here with my family. I love the bag sauce. Wood-fired pizza for me. Their pizza's the best. Bag burgers are one of the best things in the world. After a day of skiing, it's the best way to end your day. Uncle's, Uncle's winter. winter. Uncle's, Uncle's winter. winter. The best burgers I've ever had. It was amazing. Jordan Lumber has flooring and tile for all budgets, applications, and styles that suit any of your needs. Our proven favorites include Baxter and Quick Step Laminates, Hallmark, BSL, Main Traditions, and Lausen Hardwoods, Del Conca, Interceramic, and Sluter Tiles. Jordan Lumber has been selling flooring products for more than 40 years. It understands what works and what does not. Our experience with countertops is equally impressive. We'd be happy to help you in any way we can. There's a Boeckles can. That's a great angle here. A lot of people are going to be enjoying that today. 18 degrees. Use the ski racks. Use, <laughs> yeah, just a little reminder. They got some new racks. They would be so happy if you'd use them. So would a lot of people, because you know, as people come down there, they collect, and you'll look, and there'll be skis about halfway out into the slope there. Why? Uh, it, why? I don't know why. But you should see Andy. He tucks them right off, brushes the snow off, puts them on the rack. He's so well behaved when we go out. Uh, 18 degrees here. Is, uh, we start the day off here, and Mountainside Real Estate bringing this live quad cam shot as we look forward uh, towards reggae. If you haven't made reservations, well, what are you waiting for? Because uh, John Brown, a lot of great acts going to be here for reggae. And we're going to have uh, Watch and Win, aren't we, Andy? Huh? Sure. That's right, Watch and Win. Do we know when it is? No, but we're having it. We're going to have it on reggae. And uh, of course, reggae is a Oh, it just gets crazy. It's fun. Well, there's a lot of different things. I don't want to give too much of it away, but it'll be fun, and you'll want to tune in, and you'll want to win some great prizes. And also, uh, during that weekend, we'll be giving away the grand prize, the amalgam skis. You get two of them, custom-made for you. And uh, that is uh, something that we're very proud to offer. And of course, there's other prizes as well. And that's on reggae, so keep that in mind. Uh, we've got an eclipse coming. That's going to be a big thing up here. Uh, it, you know, we went to the library the other day because the library has um, oh, those, those glasses. They're closed today. The library 
and they are closed today. But but um, but usually when they are open, uh, they're closed today. Thank you for that. Uh, they've got these glasses that you can pick up down there for the eclipse, and definitely want to get those. We're expecting a lot of people around here. It's, it's going to be a fun event, and it'll be fun to be here uh, on the mountain when it happens. We're not. Actually, right z put ground zero, I think up in Canada, Mumford or something, is the total eclipse. But we're really close to that. So it's going to get dark here. It's going to be like we shut the lights off. And uh, well, it'll be exciting, uh, monumental here. And we have got more to cover here. Uh, this morning, we are going to be back in just a moment. And uh, Captain Kip wanted to let us know that Wedge was amazing, probably the best it's been all year. Uh, and he said the best snow that's crazy talk. That's cra is not crazy talk. Uh, and also the super quad down, is, gr is that's really where it's primo right now. Up top, it's not accumulated that much yet. But as the day progresses, it will. No wind, all lifts are running. Uh, we'll be right back. Bracket Basin is Sugarloaf's newest terrain. This is expert terrain and not for everybody. Here are a few guidelines to follow when you're skiing and riding in Bracket Basin. Know before you go. Familiarize yourself with the trail map. Ask questions. Stop by the Sugarloaf Ski Patrol on Spillway Crosscut and talk with a patroller if you have any questions or concerns. Be sure to read and understand all the safety signage. The three and three rule. Always ski and ride in a group of at least three people and never enter Bracket Basin after 3 p.m. Have a meetup plan in case you get separated from your group. Know your landmarks. Observe landmarks while in Bracket Basin in the event of getting lost. This will help identify your location. Do not ski beyond ski area boundaries. Carry a cell phone. It could be a valuable tool if you need help. And for more information, go to sugarloaf.com. Today we're with Brian Hatfield at Jordan Lumber and we are here to talk about all wood flooring. They make both bamboo and hardwood uh, flooring and they offer both solid and engineered product, uh, pre-finished hardwood flooring. It's a really nice selection of colors, Brian. Thanks, Greg, for coming off the mountain today on opening day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really impressed with all wood flooring. Um, I've seen the guys install it, I've walked on it, I've talked to the owners. Uh, of the company in Oregon, and um, they just, they're, between their background and their expertise, they really understand what it takes to make a, a good engineered floor and a good solid floor, and I'm just really impressed with it. Uh, with home offices in Oregon, they have some really knowledgeable people who have developed products that are responsibly produced, precision crafted, and sustainably made from 100% real wood and bamboo. Not only do they want to be good stewards of natural resources, they strive to be conscientious of what we are leaving behind as well. Wood is the only flooring product that comes from and returns back to the earth. That's why you'll never find printed laminates, plastics, or unnatural materials in our, our wood line. Brian, what are we looking at here? Well, this is our, our display of our hand-picked uh, choices that we like. They're the seven inch engineered all wood um, and all the different colors that you can choose from. These are all European oak. It looks like Tom. It looks like Tom? Ambrose? No, um, Tom Butler. No, he doesn't. He's much better looking than Tom Butler. <laughs> I love your dad. He's much more honest than you are. <laughs> That's too bad. Maybe it's like a straight look. Is that a... Uh, yeah. The beard. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. It bang. There it is.
smoking. Smoking. Smoking.